Hi, my name is Andrea Gironis of Gironis Lawyers. Shoulder dystocia is a complication of labor and delivery, which, if it is not managed properly by the treating doctors, can result in a significant and permanent injury to the baby. Usually the injury is a brachial plexus injury. Shoulder dystocia is a medical emergency and doctors must perform very specific maneuvers in order to safely deliver the baby. What happens in shoulder dystocia is that the head of the baby emerges in the normal manner from the birth canal, but one of the shoulders, usually the upper shoulder, gets lodged into the birth canal and cannot come out. The reason this is an emergency is because sometimes the baby's cord can be compressed and there is a risk that the baby will lose oxygen. The one thing that a doctor must never do in the case of shoulder dystocia is pull on the head. If the doctor pulls on the head, there is a very great chance that there will be an injury to the brachial plexus nerves, which are the nerves that attach from the neck into the shoulder and allow the baby to control their arm. Shoulder dystocia cannot always be predicted, but there are some warning signs that doctors and mothers need to be aware of. If a mother has a previous pregnancy with shoulder dystocia, their chances of having shoulder dystocia and second babies increases exponentially. If a mom has gestational diabetes, they are also more likely to have large babies with an associated greater risk of shoulder dystocia. If your child has a severe brachial plexus injury, they may need surgery, sometimes multiple surgeries, to regain movement of their arm. They may never regain normal movement of their arm. If that's the case with your child, you owe it to your child to contact your illness lawyers and get a free initial consultation. In most cases, there are no fees until we settle your case. Call our 1-800 number today.